Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Will Motivation. Back with another video. And today I'm talking about the monthly payment and insurance on my 2018 Porsche 911 GT3. Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy, Will Motivation. And before we get into today's video about my payments on my Porsche 911 GT3, I wanna let you guys know that I'm doing subscriber giveaways. I got a bunch of merch right here. And here's the thing, I want you to drop me a comment. Go ahead and enjoy the video. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed because when I hit 100,000 subscribers, I wanna do a big giveaway, I wanna do a big contest for all of my subscribers. But here's the thing, drop me a comment and let me know what you guys think I should do as a giveaway as a giveaway for when I hit 100,000 subscribers. Um, and the best ideas from the comment section on today's video, I'm going to give away t-shirts to, to the folks that have the best ideas for my 100,000 subscriber giveaway. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, if you want a t-shirt, there it is, man. I got a bunch of the new t-shirts that Cappy designed. I got a bunch of t-shirts that I designed. Um, so yeah, got plenty of giveaways. So drop a comment on what you think we should do when we hit 100,000 subscribers. And I'm giving away t-shirts to the best comments in the comment section. All right, enjoy today's video. Peace. If you're wondering who I am, um, it's your first time wandering on my channel um, or seeing one of my videos, my name is Will Motivation. Um, I like to do videos basically um, showing the experience of owning certain cars. I have a 2018 Porsche 911 GT3. I have a 2015 Lamborghini Huracan that's supercharged and the Audi S3 and a couple other cars, right? Um, and I just like enjoy, enjoy sharing the experience uh, with anybody that uh, cares to know what it's like to own one of these cars. And um, I like to share some of the knowledge that it took for me to be able to afford these cars um, and just give you some of the behind the scenes insight that um, the average person, if you see them on the street, might not share with you. So uh, in this video, I want to share with you guys um, how much I pay monthly for my 2018 GT3 um, because one of my first big videos on my channel was me um, a couple of years ago sharing how much I paid for my, my Lamborghini uh, Gallardo at the time. Um, and that video uh, is still my most popular video on this channel and it sort of kicked off my channel and me, you know, doing a lot of YouTube videos just sharing the experience. Um, so in that video, I got right to the point and I shared what the monthly payment was on my Lamborghini. So I'm going to do the same thing uh, in true will motivation fashion. I'm going to get straight to the point uh, and share with you guys what the payment is on my new Porsche. So um, first of all, uh, it's a 2018, it's a manual, um, and it has a really nice spec on it. When I bought it, it only had 2,500 miles on it. Um, I put another 3,000 miles on it in about two months, maybe, a month or two. Um, and um, it has a really nice spec on it, right? So a lot of, a lot of the Porsche GT3s come with um, automatic transmissions or PDK transmissions. This has a manual, um, so, it was a pretty sought after car, so I paid a significant amount for the car. All right, so the, the purchase price for this vehicle was $168,000. Um, and like I said, it had 2,500 miles on it, so it was used with one, own, one owner. Um, now, the monthly payment that I pay for this Porsche 911 GT3 is right here. Um, I got a loan with Bank of America. And the payment amount is $836.26. So, if you're wondering how much it costs to finance a Porsche 911 GT3 2018, uh, what I pay is $836.26. So, there you have it. If you tuned into this video and you just wanted to find out uh, what one guy pays for his Porsche 911 GT3, there you have it. That's the answer. Now, if you want to know the details, on um, what makes up that payment or how I got my payment to be that low, um, then stay tuned to this video. And also in this video, I'll share a little bit of insight on what I do um, to be able to afford the Porsche and how much I pay in insurance. So first things first, a lot of you guys might be wondering, 
what, okay, so you know what the payment is for the GT3. Um, how much do you pay in insurance? So that's more of a fixed number that has less, I think less variables than the, the monthly car payment. Um, but there are a lot of variables in what you pay in insurance, including where you're, where you're located, how old you are, what your driving record is, um, among other things. But in my case, I insure this car with State Farm and I pay 850 bucks every six months. So that, that breaks down to be about 100 and, uh, what is that, 120 bucks or something like that. I looked it up. I'll put it on the screen. It comes out to be that. <laughs> All right, so that's how much I pay uh, for my insurance on the GT3. Now, if you're wondering, how did you get your payment to be $836 a month for the GT3 uh, when it costs $168,000, you know, which is a lot? Um, basically, the short answer to that question is um, two things. I put a large down payment on the vehicle because I sold my last GT3 for $130,000 and I, and I had that GT3 paid off. Um, and then I took most of that money and put it towards this GT3 um, and, and then I, I basically financed about, um, actually it's on here, I financed uh, 59,000 bucks. So basically I put a little over 100 grand in towards the car and I financed 60 grand. Now, if I didn't put such a large down payment down on the vehicle, your payment for this GT3 will be a lot higher. Um, the other thing though that helps to keep my payment under control is I have a decent credit score. My, my credit score hovers, depending on what I'm doing, because I buy a lot of houses um, using financing um, and using my credit, so it makes my, my credit score change. Um, but my credit score hovers between 720 and 780 uh, typically. So it goes, it goes up and down. Uh, in between those numbers and with that kind of a credit score you can get basically the best rates um, especially if you're working with a, a trustworthy dealership they won't try to play games with your rates and make money off you with the rates they'll just give you the best rate um, because you've got good credit history so that helps keep my payment down because I have a low interest rate my interest rate was three point something because my, my down payment was so large as well my interest rate was three point it's funny because they give you these bills and they don't want to put the interest rate in there because you might shop around. But I got a good interest rate. Um, but for me, I usually don't keep the cars that long um, before I pay them off. So for me, I, it's not a big deal as long as the interest rate is not like the credit card interest rate where it's like 15% or something crazy like that. I usually only keep car payments for a short period of time unless it's a car that I might keep for a long time and I don't wanna have my t money tied up in it like the Lamborghini. So, um, you know, one of the things I, I try to practice what I preach um, and that is I like to invest in real estate. Um, so towards the end of this video, I'll show you uh, my latest real estate project that I'm investing in um, that I use to justify and pay for my Lamborghini Huracan. Um, it's called Project Huracan and it's a new build from the ground up. So I'll show you a little clip of what status that project is in, but basically I like to keep my cash to be able to invest in projects like that that will make me money. And then um, I'll use the bank's money at a low interest rate to finance some of the toys. And I put such a large down payment down that I use, I'm not underwater in the case that I have to sell the vehicle because I need my money back to invest in something else or in case emergency happens or whatever. Um, so I like to keep some of my cash available to be able to make more money or handle emergencies and that kind of thing. So I finance some of my vehicles. So same, same case here with the Porsche 911 GT3, finance part of it, and um, I'll probably pay it off. And uh, I don't know how long I'm going to keep the car. Um, so if you're interested in the car, you want to buy a really nice spec Porsche 911 GT3, I have my eyes on a Porsche 918. Um, I think that's my next big goal. That's like a hyper car um, and I would have to really step up my game in other areas of my business to be able to achieve it. But you know, you set goals and you try to make those goals happen. So I've got some goals that I set for myself and I'm kind of looking at a Porsche 918 
as a future car for me. So, um, so yeah, if you want this Porsche 911 GT3, I'll enjoy it until you're ready to buy it, but just let me know. But anyway, man, um, now let me, let me just share with you guys some, some information on what I do and how I'm able to afford the GT3. I don't want to make this part of the video that long because I already told you what the payments are. I already told you I put a large down payment um, to, to be able to get the payments lower. But let me tell you a little bit about, you know, so if you're seeing this video for the first time, you might not know who I am or what I do for a living. And you might be wondering, how do you afford a GT3, a car that costs $160,000? Um, long story short, um, I'm a regular guy. I didn't grow up with money, um, but I went to college and I studied computer science. I became a software engineer. I, I went, after I graduated from college, I got a corporate job. Um, writing software for AT&T, um, for the telephone networks. And, but I always had a side hustle where I would be trying to start some type of business because I wanted to be able to earn good money more than what I was making um, at my full-time job. At the, at, when I first started working out of college, I only made $35,000 a year, which is not enough money to afford a GT3. And by the time I quit my job and started um, running my software company, which was a dot-com, and a social networking um, website that I started. Uh, by the time I quit, I was making about eighty-eight thousand dollars a year, something eighty-five to eighty-eight thousand a year, which is still like I probably could afford this car, but it would have been a stretch to be honest. Like I wouldn't advise anybody making that kind of money to buy one of these cars unless you have zero other expenses. So anyway, um, I always had some type of side hustle going on. I started a business. Um, I wrote some software. Um, I partnered with some buddies of mine, some friends of mine. We came together and we started a social network back before Facebook, back before LinkedIn, any social network really. Um, and we stuck with a certain niche and it kind of blew up. Um, so that website started doing well. I quit my job, started running that business. Uh, when that business started doing well, I saved some money. I always would have some money that I would try to save up with the business. Um, and eventually, uh, right around 2010, I started investing in real estate uh, with the money I had saved up. And I, I didn't want to waste that money. I wanted to make sure I had that money invested in something so that I could always take care of the business and take care of the people that were with me in the business. Um, but I wanted to make that money go to work. So like I said, I started investing in real estate and uh, I started getting good at it. I started getting aggressive with my investing and I ended up buying over 35 to 40 properties. And I flipped some of those properties to pay off some of the, the um, first properties that I bought um, so that I could own them free and clear and then make money off of those properties through rental income and protect my initial investment um, at the same time. So once I kind of got into that world of investing in real estate, um, then I started getting the toys and I bought my first Lamborghini Gallardo. Um, I started investing in two, 2010 in real estate and I didn't buy my Lamborghini until 2006. 17, I believe, 2017, or it might have been 2016. Um, but anyway, six or seven years of investing um, and building out a, a, an investment portfolio of real estate before I actually splurged on an expensive car like that. Um, and so ever since then, I've been continuing to invest, continuing to run my initial business that I started. Um, and that's how I made uh, money to afford a GT3. Um, and I talked a little bit more about um, the real estate on my real estate channel, Real Estate 101. And I also like to put clips about what I'm doing with some of those projects so maybe you guys can get inspired by what I'm doing to see that it's not rocket science, that you also could, could learn how to invest in real estate and that kind of thing. So um, at the end of this video, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you what I'm doing with my, um, my first new build project where I bought a piece of land and I started building a house from the ground up. So I'll show you the status of that project, but I want to thank you guys for stopping by and watching this video. Hope you found it informative. Um, and remember, man, my saying that, that I kind of came up with that I like to share with people is figure out what you want and act accordingly. So that basically means if you want something, you don't really want it unless you act like you want it. And sometimes you don't know what it takes to get what you want, but you look at people that have what you want and you act like them and you do the things that they do to be successful at getting whatever it is you want. So 
Um, I want you guys to kind of remember that, man. That's my, I'm going to start ending my videos with that. Figure out what you want and act accordingly. Um, hope you found this video informative. I appreciate you guys. Uh, love you guys that watch and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. But enjoy this view of Project Huracan. Peace. Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Will Motivation. Back with another video, and today we're going to check out Project Huracan. And we're uh, taking a Porsche GT3. My brother d -Moss driving. All right, we're gonna see how much it costs to fill the tank in the GT3 when it's on empty. Now this has the extended uh, fuel range gasoline tank, so it's got like an extra large gas tank so that you can get more miles per tank. Um, and it's all the way empty. And then we're gonna see how much it costs at 295 per gallon of premium gasoline. So, in case you haven't seen the GT3, here's the GT3. My brother Demos is driving. He's a designated driver. <laughs> We're gassing this thing up. It's got an aftermarket exhaust on it. It has a uh, what kind of exhaust does it have on it? MRBP. Sounds real good. It's blacked out. I don't know, man. If you guys want to buy this car? Let me know. I'm always willing to make a deal. This car cost me 170, 170,000 for the GT3, and um, I let it go for 165. How about that? It's got a beautiful spec on it. Um, if you're wondering, the most perfect spec I've seen. Most perfect spec. If you're wondering why I might sell this, because I gotta save up for a 918 <laughs> hypercar GT3 to a 918, so Demos can drive a 918 around. Got the tin on it. Like I said, we got the exhaust on it. It's got a six-speed manual. This thing is a beast. These things do sub 11 seconds. There's some GT3s that have done 10 second quarter miles, which is faster than what the uh, manufacturer expected. But yeah, they're doing it. Did you do like a nine something in the Hellcat? In the Hellcat? No, no, no. Oh, 11 something? Yeah, the Hellcat's doing 11 something. The Huracan did uh, 10.5. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, 10.5. Surprised everybody. So, 22 gallons. <laughs> So it costs us for 30 gallons of gas, 69 bucks. Oh, a little bit more. We got a little bit more gas going in there. All right, that's it. All right, so we just made it to Project Huracan. Took the GT3 this time. Um, and today we're painting. So last update, we had drywall in and they were getting the drywall done. This update, we're in here painting. My signature color is called Whirly Gray from Sherwin Williams. We got flat white going into the um, into the uh, ceiling. So let's see what's going on. Let's go see what's going on. Oh! <laughs> How's it going? Wow. What's up? I want to get you man. What's up, man? Pleasure, Daniel. Okay. Shabbat. Shabbat. What's going on, man? You good? <laughs> How you doing, man? I got it on, man. Good to you. I'm Will. That's Will. This is Danny. Y'all yeah, getting it in. Y'all getting it in. <laughs> this is part two. Looking good. Y'all in here working. <laughs> He's a real hot. Look at that. We got we got some color in here. We got some color. There it is. Nice, crispy. Y'all spraying or y'all rolling? We're rolling and spraying. Rolling and spraying. That's what I'm talking about. That looks good, buddy. He said go ham. Okay. Oh, be careful with that. 
Oh, you know? Yeah. It's a wrap. Construction is hype going on. Construction is hype. Hey, we bought your car out there. Yeah, I know. We're gonna get it. We're gonna take off. Hey, I'm about to take off. Alright, love you. I'll tell you. Alright, love 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 you. <laughs> so where y'all, what, what's going on? Tell me what's, what's the progress so far. Y'all first floor in it, y'all second floor in it, y'all third downstairs in it? Upstairs walls are done. Uh, downstairs, the basement walls are done. Okay, so y'all doing walls first? The ceilings, yeah. Okay. Spraying, we spray the walls first, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the ceilings, and then come back and do the second, the final coat. So somebody needs some paint done, who do they call? Uh, C Masters Paint. You can call Charlton at nine one or not six one four nine 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 two six two seven. There it is. This is my partner Moses. There it He's is. With me all the time. Uh, we all. He also has his own business thing going on, but we all we all collaborate. Oh yeah, I know. Together. Collab. Yeah, we collaborate. Keep That's it what's up. Tell the number one more time. Six one four nine 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 two six two seven. We do this all day. All day. And this is my dude right here. Y'all know I grew up with him, so I trust him. Been around, been, been around the world. Been around the world with this cat. So I appreciate you, man. I know you're just knocking it out. Uh, so I'll be at the crib. So you know, I'll be right there waiting for you whenever you're ready. Okay, yeah, just take that black truck and leave that one and then uh <laughs> <laughs> room. You know, room in the truck for y'all. <laughs> hey, hey, don't forget the walls is wet. Oh yeah, this cat is so beautiful up at the top. Oh, it's crispy. This Let's show them. Let's show them. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It's in the the washroom's on the other side, though. Yeah. That's fine. All right, we got to go away. We all down upstairs on the wall, so just uh, we'll just wet. The second, the second uh, final call is everywhere. Uh huh. Whenever you get the uh, third line, do like touch up and stuff. Yeah, well, we gonna come up and we got to the second row. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, so my man Charlton, check out the GT3. Took this one of his dream cars growing up. I shot made it. <laughs> Look at this. Don't catch y'all see me in it. <laughs> Hey, I just wanted to say thanks for watching today's video. There's a lot more to come. Hit that like button for me and subscribe to my channel. A lot of you guys have been asking me about when is my online course going to be ready? Well, I have good news for you. My online course is completed. Um, I'll put a link in the description of this video where you can click on that link and get a 40% discount off the course. That'll be for the first 50 students. So if you're ready to take the online course that I've basically laid out everything that I know about how to invest in real estate, click the link below or just go to www.willmotivation.com slash invest. And I thank you guys for taking the time out to watch today's video. Hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.